So our next project is this U joint or the wheel bearing went bad, so the knuckle on the axle came clanging and banging around through here. And where the seal gets driven into, there's no material there. So I got a piece of brass over there that's going to get turned to the right diameter of the seal here for the outside. And then I got a piece of steel that I'll turn for the inside of the axle tube that will slide in. It'll align that piece of brass and then I'll weld all this back up and then I can drive my new seal in and fix the axle. Alright, I'm going to start by getting a pilot hole in here so I can put a live center on this so I can help keep a little pressure on it. It'll help when I get a little deflection on it from pushing your cutter in on it. So here we go. Alright, so everything's done with part one in the lathe. I've got it turned to size here. I've got it turned to size and a quarter inch back offset so this will help hold center it. And then I've got it drilled and tapped in the center so I can bolt the piece of brass to it. So now I gotta chuck, take this out, chuck the brass in, get it bored in the center and get the, so it'll fit on here like it's supposed to and drill it so the bolt will go through and it'll hold it, it'll line itself. Then I'll rechuck it back in here with the uh, brass bolted on here so to hold the brass on here. And then I can turn the outside of it to size. And then I gotta mill this and cut, I gotta cut it off and mill it. But I'll do that once I get the brass piece all done. So, and once it's all, once it's all done and I get it cut, I'll flip this piece around and face the back side of it so it's smooth. All right, so. I've got our brass piece made. I faced it off on this side so I could get it squared for boring the hole and everything. I've got it bored to the exact size that I need to fit this here. So what this is going to do is it's going to go on there and there's no slop whatsoever in that. And then this bolt gets bolted in so it holds it true and center. And then what I will do is get this tightened up really good and I will actually leave this piece bolted on here so I can turn this down to size in the lathe because otherwise I can't really hold it in there. So I'll leave it bolted to this and then I'll turn this down to the size that I need it. Cut this off, I'll unbolt it and then I'll mill the flat on the one side of this so it'll slide in that axle tube. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna machine the last bit on this part and that's gonna be putting a flat in here we're gonna mill it out so it'll clear the axle tube where it's welded so what I'm gonna do now is program our power feed in here for 3.45 inches and we're there so now I need to set the quill where I want it which I want to have it let's see our first pass we'll do about right there. Now nah, we'll go more. We'll do lock our quill down, fire up the spindle, which I got to turn the machine on. All right, give it.
here it is finished. It left a very nice finish on it. So I managed to get this stuck in there and it wouldn't go the whole way. Um, apparently it's a little bit smaller in the back than out here. So I'm going to have to chuck it back in the lathe and turn it down a little bit, which isn't a huge deal. But i got to get it out. So I'm going to have to make an adapter that will bolt in here. I can put my slide hammer in so I can pop it out. Um, not a big deal. I just got to do a little TIG welding and weld a nut to a bolt and make an adapter. So, alright, on to that. got that piece all made and in there so what the goal is here with this I can weld the brass and it'll tack to it but it won't stay to it so if you see up through here it's real tight down here in the bottom where it's all beat out and wallered out where the seal's supposed to go I'll fill all this in with weld and tack it all to the brass get it all filled in through here and then I can use my slide hammer and I've got an attachment made that I can screw in here and I can pull this all out when I pull it all out we should be able to put the seal in and put it all back together all right before you ever weld on anything with a computer on it you want to make sure you get an anti-zap box or unhook the batteries on them because you can fry the computers in them i've seen it happen so you want to make sure you got a zap box on it at least all right time to start welding Alright, I'm going to thread the slide hammer in here and pop it out and we'll see what it looks like. Okay. It's not 100% perfect, but it's going to fix our problem here. It's definitely going to hold our dust seal in there. Um, I'm going to fill a couple little spots in and then grind it out and smooth it up a little bit, but that's going to fix it. And just like that, you can see how well it fits. It fits like it's supposed to. It doesn't fall out. It's actually in there. So that fixed the problem. Saved from having to buy a very expensive axle from Ford. We're on the home stretch now.